But if the Fed prints $10 trillion out of thin air, because there's no reserves that would you know, uh, support this, this new printing of new money, they will just rob you of you know, 20% of your savings, of all human, you know, all people that use these dollars, including all Americans, including all Salvadorans, by the way, because we use uh, the US dollar as a currency. Uh, you know, they will not pay a penny or a fine or anything because it's a, it's a legal theft. But it's a crime anyway. Well, it's, it's a moral crime. It's a moral crime. It's not a legal crime. And, and that's why I think there's, there's civilization changes coming just because people, that, that's been happening for quite a while now, yes. probably since the 70s. But right now, people are starting to waking up and seeing these things and saying, oh, hold on. I maybe don't want to be on board these things. And of course, they don't want to, you know, I, I think an, it's probably a new economic system is on, is on the works. And it's going, to be a, it's going to be messy because you will have, you know, the Western powers with one economic system. You will have probably the BRICS with another economic system. And you know, the BRICS are growing and they'll probably be, be ha more than half of the GDP soon, not only because the, the, the countries are growing itself, but they are inviting Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Nigeria, Argentina. So if you add up all those up, it will be uh, above 50% of GDP. So they'd be the, the, the greatest economic power. And they will try to do an alternate economic system. I don't think people that are, don't want the Fed to devaluate are gonna go to the other system because it's not, you know, it's, you know, it's not attractive for them to change from the Fed to, to Russia. It's not, you know, right. or to the OPEC plus. It's not, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense for them. But you will see more and more people in the West, or what we call the West, um, trying to go into alternative, alternative uh, systems that are more independent, that are unconfiscable, that are uncensored, and that are totally decentralized. So if you go into there, you would think, in principle, of course, we, we have to see, but in principle, you would think that you'd be safe of uh, having your wealth taken away by a political decision. So our Fed policy affects the entire world, every country in the Definitely. world. Definitely. But it affects El Salvador directly and immediately in the same way it affects us because you trade in the U.S. dollar. Yes, a little worse because we do get all the devaluation and we get all the inflation, but we get none of the spending. So, oh. Yeah, so <laughs> you can't print it. We can't print it. Yeah, you can print the U.S. dollars. Very good point. Yeah. Um, so you have a Ph.D. in the downside of, of Fed policy, I think. Well, not, yeah, well, not a P I, I understand. Yeah. Oh, but I mean, the, you the concept. Yeah, you have to run a country that's subject to it. 